In this video, we're going to take a look at how you can export an animation that has been set up in Maya and open it in Octane using the Orbix format. Exporting from Maya in the Orbix format has several advantages. For one thing, you can open up the Orbix file in Octane standalone and render it there, which tends to be very fast and also gives you access to newer features such as the AID noiser. Also, if you want to upload files to Orc to render on the cloud, you'll need to do it in the Orbix format. So it's a good idea to know how to set this up quickly, and it is fairly easy. So let's switch out of Octane Standalone and go into Maya. So here's the scene in Maya. And before I export uh, in the Orbix format, there's a few things I like to do. For one thing, I like to bake the keyframes of any animated objects. So for example, this bar bot originally had an expression on its Y translate, to make it kind of bounce up and down like that as it's hovering. So I simply baked the keyframes on that. So you can see down here, the timeline is completely red because all of those keys have been baked. So likewise on the rotation of the head, I did the same thing. So baked all the animation wherever possible. Uh, next, I like to go into the hypershade and make sure you do edit, delete unused nodes to clear out any nodes that are not used in the scene. That can help reduce the file size because it's basically going to package everything, all the textures, all the shaders, all the animation and everything into a single file format. And that file format can be fairly large. So it's a good idea to clean it up as much as possible before you do that. The next thing you'll want to do is go into the render settings and make sure that if you're exporting an animated sequence that you set your start and end frame correctly. Uh, otherwise, if this is not turned on, it's going to just export like the first 10 frames or it's not going to export the animation as you like. So make sure you specify the time range that you want to export. It's also a good idea to set the rendering camera that you want to export as well. Many of these settings can be changed in Octane standalone, of course, but it might be a little bit easier to set them up correctly in Maya first, especially if you're more familiar with Maya than you are with Octane standalone. So I've also set the image size and I've gone into the settings under preferences and made sure that I've got the frames per second that I want. So in this case, it's going to be 60 frames per second. Once that's all taken care of, I can go to the file menu and choose export all. You could also do export selection if you just want to export part of the scene. But in this case, I'm going to do export all. And if you take a look at the file type menu in the export all options, you can export an octane render scene, an octane animated scene, or an octane render alembic. In this case, I'm going to choose an octane animated scene. There are no references in this particular scene, so I could turn this off if I want to. Uh, also, I can turn on export scene as a merged alembic node. Uh, so the animation and the geometry will all be contained in a Lembic file that's embedded in the Orbix file. And once I'm happy with the setup here and the options, I'll choose export all and it will take a few moments to play through the scene. And when it's done, you'll end up with an Orbix file on your hard drive, wherever you choose to save it. So if I choose export all, it's going to come up with a dialog box and I've saved it here in my scenes directory and I've called it space cantina underscore ek dot Orbix. So this is the file that will be created once I export it. So I've already done a version of it, which you can see here. And the resulting file size is about 337 megabytes. So I've opened up Octane 4 standalone and you can choose file open and find the file. It's called Space Cantina EK Orbix. Of course, I already have it open, so I'm not going to open this right now. Uh, you'll notice there is a time slider here. If there's animation in the scene, you should see the time slider, which will allow you to scrub through, through the scene. You can see it is very fast, which is nice. Uh, of course, we have a lot of nodes. This one very large node called Geometry ABC is the Alembic node that's been embedded into the scene. And you can see down here we have our cameras. The rendered camera is bar cam shape. If I want to change the resolution, I can go over here and click on this icon right here. And this allows me to change the resolution as needed. So for more information on using Octane Standalone, you can check out the Octane Standalone documentation, including how to export 
uh, a rendered image sequence uh, from Octane Standalone. Well, this covers the basics of exporting an Orbix file from Maya, which you can then open up in Octane Standalone.